In this video, I want to show you how you can convert text files or txt files into more useful data frames. Because, for example, here we have this aspirin txt file. And this file is not, is not something you want to have. You cannot do a lot of calculations with that. It's not a data frame, for example. But as you can see, there is some kind of structure in this data set. So you have, uh, you have the heading over here. Um, and um, the order is always the same, you have the same spacing, so basically there is structure in this data set. In this case what it is, it's, um, it's the data of um, about 15 studies um, about aspirin. So it's the data set of a meta-analysis. And what we want to do now is, we want to give it a more useful structure, so that R can do more calculations on this data set. Namely, we're going to create a data frame out of this data set. So what we do for that is we go uh, we go to import data set over here and there is um, the option import data set from text file and we're going to click this one, right? So then we go we go to the to the folder where the data set is stored and in this case it is called aspirin txt. So you double click on it, and now you actually have um, several options um, of how you wanna, of how you want your output data set to look like. For example, you could give it a name. In this case, it's it's called aspirin. Um, you can state if you want the heading yes or no. I think yes is quite is quite useful. Then you can decide what kind of separators you want. I think also tabs is quite good. You could also get, for example, commas or semicolons or white space, but I think tab is the best one. And then you can uh, you can decide what kind of um, or what the decimal should look like. I think period period is also good, and um, the quote signs. So um, here is um, the preview. So this this is the data set you were or. The, um, the text file you were feeding in without the structure and here we have the data frame which we want to produce out of this data set uh, to do further calculations on it. So this is this one over, over here. Uh, we would then just um, click import and as you can see now you have um, a really really useful um, data frame um, in which you can you can do your further calculations. This was Martin from r-tutorials.com uh, Concerning this video you can of course leave a comment below. Um, if you liked the video please do not forget to subscribe and to give it a thumbs up because that's a very important measure for us and that tells us that we are on the right track and that we are actually helping uh, people uh, to get better with R. Uh, furthermore there are plenty of other videos about R on this channel and you are invited to also take a look on those uh, to get even deeper into R. And of course you can also take a look at the website r-tutorials.com where you can find more useful information about this program.